welcome back to the channel this is house of virgo this is kelly from house of virgo gonna do your singles reading see what the messages are for you this is for sunday um <laughs> january 22nd 2023 if you're new please do click that like share and subscribe button and uh yeah if you want to get personal reading there's a link in the description box below where you can book a personal reading with me or um dom one of my new uh tower readers on my channel all right you guys let's get into this please be mindful some of the messages may or may not resonate so just take what fits okay so the question that i was thinking here is how will you know if you're ready for a new relationship well you'll feel at peace you'll feel calm and you'll feel at peace with anyone that you come in contact there won't be like any trauma or um, any fear or anything like that you'll feel blessed you'll feel di divinely guided um, the person that comes into your life it will feel like divine timing and everything will just feel right for you okay um, so let's take a look and see what the characteristics will be of your potential new lover potential new lover for Virgo Sun Moon rising or Venus okay <laughs> king of swords well hello always showing up in your readings virgo i don't even know okay could be a leo gemini aquarius libra okay so um this person very witty good conversationalist very upbeat and positive strong could be somebody who's very like physically strong mentally strong definitely mentally strong um you'll know this person um the very also very calm like a calming kind of energy about them very intelligent also and strategic so a good communicator um they may have a child as well or a grandchild okay this person fearless definitely they don't have any problem facing their fears and tackling what needs to be done they're very someone who's very intuitive okay could be a pisces as well but this person very intuitive um they don't give away all their secrets that's for sure when they go to make a decision you know they 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 go within right their characteristics so they're they're very thoughtful in the way that they are the way they behave the decisions that they make they know when it's time to do something they don't ever jump the gun or they're not spontaneous they don't make they don't take like big risks okay so let's say how will you guys meet each other that's a good question to ask how will you and this person virgo okay <laughs> all right well this is a reconciliation or a past card so this could be bumping into an old lover where there's a new start with this person um you guys you might meet at a flower shop or a garden center or picking out plants um you might be at a market somewhere um and they Get something down off the shelf from you or you get something down off the shelf from then from them i feel like this person will be um okay okay uh, no yeah uh, all right so they just said this person they'll have a very youthful look about them okay but i also feel like uh, they could be younger than you so you might meet them in a school um also i'm hearing with children okay and um i'm not sure why this two of wands just popped out i also f okay mm -hmm. okay i see them standing by somewhere where there is like some kind of a globe it could be um like a city design or architecture somewhere where there's a globe or some statues as well like a statue of someone holding like a globe okay interesting um all right let's see characteristics or dynamics of this potential relationship characteristics or dynamics oh wow beautiful um very strong okay a lot of strength to this relationship like rooted very grounded um i also feel like very soothing energy as well like the characteristics you know the dynamics it's like oh okay and very um kind of legalistic as well but fair like a fairness like a, like equality i see equality 
in, in the characteristics or dynamics of the potential relationship. Okay, let's see what the potential outcome or possible outcome of this relationship will be. Potential out, okay. Wow, okay, King of Cups. So as an energy, um, the King of Cups represent very um, supportive energy. Um, boundaries, good boundaries. Okay, so the outcome, I definitely feel like, I mean, it's very, I feel like the outcome is somebody here um, like there will be a getting together, but I feel like there will be a lot of hesitation about coming together. Um, it's going to take a while to get off the ground with this person. Okay. It's not going to be, I don't feel like there's a rushing energy at all in, re in regards to this. Okay. Wow. You'll feel complete. Yeah. And victory and winning. So this feels like a very good start connecting with this person. It feels to me like this is going to be someone that you reconnect with. Okay, um, King of Cups also can be Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. This can be somebody that you will reconnect with, like an old lover, and it will just kind of take off, but slowly. And I feel like there will be a lot of hesitation to reconnect with this person, but I also feel like things will go um, very well. It, 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 the most of the message that I'm getting is you will be ready. So I don't really know what exactly that means as far as like you being ready. We also have Aries showing up here. Let me see. Um, I wanted to ask another. Yeah, okay. I'm going to do a Celtic cross. Feeling the need to do a Celtic cross. All right, let me take a look at the recent past for you, Virgo. What are the recent past? Okay. Oh, having to compromise the situation. There might have been a blocking kind of energy. Um, no decision being made somebody needed to make a decision about a past situation but I feel like there was a lot of blocking or some kind of connection that just like two people not talking yeah okay there was a block to change and making something going to go forward okay in the recent past um, there might have been like this desire to get in the car and go um, to take a trip there was some kind of desire to um, you know take a step forward to move things forward but if it, it looks like it got blocked or something happened where it became a stalemate okay what is your situation right now Virgo what is Virgo's situation current situation right now all right well you're looking good Virgo at this time right you're getting a lot of attention um, being applauded being recognized in your life okay right now looks good you're in the winners winner in a chicken dinner circle so you're looking pretty good the the um block right now is opening up <laughs> you're a little bit vague i feel like um even though you're doing well at this time i kind of feel like you're just not revealing too much about yourself um now that's either a block or a benefit, but it could be for a reason that you're not doing that. You're, you might be a little bit in hermit mode or just showing a little bit of yourself at this time in your life, not revealing your deepest feelings or your fears. Let's see what the root of any problems you might have at this time. Okay, so Queen of Swords. All right. <laughs> so either this is somebody that there's an issue with Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, okay, um, or this person, male or female energy, um, is either, uh, it's just feels like kind of a nasty mouth <laughs> person. Now, could it be you? It could be you. It could be you like out here, like giving somebody some shit, telling your truth, um, being straight up truthful and honest. Okay, um, I don't know how that is a problem, but I think that there's also um, tactfulness that could be lacking in tactfulness because Queen of Swords can be kind of bitter sometimes. But if that's not you, and if you don't want to accept that message, that's fine. There could be somebody else here who is connected to you, who is um, kind of bitter or just saying some not so very nice things or is just driving you crazy. And it could have something, it could be somebody who's jealous as well there could be some 
jealousy or um, somebody that you have a connection with um, that is the root of all of your problems right now. Let me just get a clarifying card to see. Clarifying card for Virgo. Are you going to show us anything? Oh, gosh. Okay. King of Cups popped out again. All right. There's obviously a connection with two people, male or female energy. Um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Okay. Um, so, yeah. Something going on here with two people. Okay. Root of the problem. It's interesting. Um, I don't know who's who. I don't know if they have a connection or if something... Or if you are connected to one or both of them or something along those lines. But it's sitting in the position as being a problem for you at this, you know, at this current stage. Um, let me see what the possibilities are to the, you know, like the, the problem itself. Oh. What are the possibilities here? This, like, so the possibilities are like um, how things could be better. Maybe there aren't any. Okay. Oh, no. All right. Judgment. Um, truth coming out. Reconciliation. Or um, just a feeling of... every Something's coming out, Virgo, at this time. There's some kind of truth that's going to come out about some kind of problem regarding these two people here. Okay. Okay. Um, a big reveal a big reveal is going to come out the possibilities it's like i feel like you're going to get some kind of an answer you're going to get some clarity a decision gets made uh, a real wake-up call for you in regards to the queen of swords and the king of cups give me a clarifying card for this judgment okay wow <sighs> for some of you this is two people one belongs to you and one belongs to them and there was some kind of um, finding out maybe that there was like these two were connecting, but um, somebody ghosted or there was um, maybe like a fantasy kind of relationship or something along the lines of like um, no commitment. Um, hmm, That's very interesting. And I don't really know what that means or how that might resonate for you. Maybe it will leave me a comment and let me know, you know, what exactly that means if that, you know, means anything to you. Let me see what the... Um, Let me see where you're headed, the near future. Where's Virgo headed with this situation? Okay, two cards. Okay. Um, three of swords and the four... No, three of pentacles and the four of swords. So... I feel like what you find out or what you learn is going to bring you peace going forward like you're going to be able to relax about something um yeah that that's really the strongest message like what you're learning about this problem or this issue here is is actually going to bring you some peace of mind um so i don't know if there was two people here that were in a relationship or something and there was a connection between them and it's not going anywhere let me see and I don't, oh yeah, they were in some kind of connection, or one of them was married, but it's not, yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like these two people are not, you know, there was some kind of connection made with them, but, or a false alarm about children or a child, maybe like a false alarm about a pregnancy, and some of you are like, oh, thank God, you find out that it, it doesn't, it wasn't real or it wasn't true or something along those lines it was all like rumor or maybe up in your head i feel like you're gonna have some kind of peace of mind though definitely and i'm not sure why um if two other people are something's not going right or you're you you might be thinking that two people are together and then you find out that they're not and that brings you like some sense of um like peace of mind 
what you learn. Let me see. I just want to get another clarifying card for this Hierophant with these two. Huh. No, they were just friends. Okay. And they just decide to be friends. There was a connection here, but somebody was married or somebody had a significant other, but they made a connection and it might have been like they shouldn't have. Or there was um, somebody in that connection was they had somebody else and they were messing around and then somebody got dumped. That's crazy. That's crazy. <clears throat> yep. Okay. It was careless. There was a fling for some of you, um, whoever that person is. There was a fling. Gets found out about it. Somebody finds you, find out about it. You learn about it. And it wasn't anything more than that. And I don't know. I don't feel like these two people are together or something gets, I don't know. I feel like that queen of, queen of swords, male or female energy is being really nasty about this thing right now. And um, one of them was like taking a careless risk with passion and lust and something gets found out. Okay. All right. So let me take a look um, in position of you and your advice. Okay, <laughs> you've got the tower. Feels like Virgo, your advice here is to just like blow this shit up, like destroy it. Like don't even get yourself. I don't know, I just feel like uh, you need to just, you need to destroy something here. Some relationship or just like not, let me see. I want to get a clarifying card for that. What does this mean for Virgo? I love this deck. I'm so in love with this deck right now. Yeah, you need to let something go here, Virgo. Position of you and your advice. Like whatever got destroyed here or whatever you felt destroyed about, you need to let it go and see something differently. Um, I don't know what that means. Pisces, Scorpio. Um, Aries, Aquarius, Cancer, you need to let something go. Give me another card here, Spirit. What does Virgo need to let go of? Huh. I'm right, trying to um, weigh your options. There's no option here for you. I don't feel like there's an option here for you right now. Um, you need to stop juggling or... Um, thinking something one way and thinking something another way and being locked into those thoughts it feels like you need to like view something from outside the box that's the message you need it you need a different angle because you're you're stuck with like it's either this or that we could go with this or we could go with that we could go with this or we could go with that no it's not this or that it's something completely different and it's unexpected and um you know whatever a situation was and something was blocked and didn't move forward the reason for that to happen was because whoever another person is here they they had to go th through something they had like um i don't know it was karma karma bit somebody in the butt and you've been trying to like get a peek to see what that karma is but you know i feel like if your thought process has been like oh you know somebody that you were with was messing around and they got burned um i kind of feel like yeah or something happened okay there's nothing here for you to weigh you need to let it go you need to just be done with it um like get it out of your head don't even be concerned okay let me see this other person here what's the energy of another person what's the energy of this other person here Yeah, something's done in con uh, concerning this other person. Um, they're moving. Oops, sorry. <laughs> they're moving away from a situation that they were in. Uh, they might have made a mistake. They got involved with a friend, or they got involved with somebody that maybe both of your friends or someone who is married, and um, I don't know, something happened, or somebody else found out about it. Something happened. Something blew out. Blew up. I think maybe you know that. Yeah, and. Um, 
this person is good like they got theirs but it looks like I mean, either they're going to try to come back and try to have a reunion with you or they're, you know, going to seek other people to try to date or they're um, trying to find a support, some people who are supportive of them. I, they've definitely left that situation. Absolutely. <sighs> yeah, they've definitely left that situation. I mean, you've got like, and they've also left messing around. Okay, that's the biggest message right here, right? Look at those three of cups. That's like dating. That's like um, socializing, having fun, partying, going out, seeking other people. And yeah, look at these two cards here. Of two, like they're just like a walking away. You know, they went into that and they walked away. It looks like this person, they're, they're just like, that's they keep screwing up or they're making mistakes and they got themselves into some hot water. It might be something you've intuited or you're already aware of or something that you know. Or that you like you you're having that maybe you had dreams about it and you find out it comes to you but yeah I mean trust your intuition trust your dreams because I feel like you will find out about this you will learn about this let me see what your your hopes and fears are here Virgo huh okay Virgo uh, uh, uh. So um, I, some of you are, you know, I mean, I don't know if it's with this person. Um, this can be like hoping that you guys will like sort everything out now. Um, or, you know, like you guys can like forgive each other and try to make something work out this time because it could be making their way back to you. For others, this is hoping that you just meet somebody who's just going to be good for you. Someone that's going to be, you know, on the same page. Somebody's going to be right for you. Some of you are just like hoping for love. You don't want someone from the past back, especially if they were like being mischievous or so, just, you know, whatever. But, um, I, I, but there is also, as far as the fear, some of you are fearing there's going to be communication, you know. <sighs> You're hoping that you make a good decision, definitely, going forward. I feel like you don't want to make a reactive decision to anything. Um, if you were hoping for two people to, like, split up um, so that you could be together, um, I feel like... Uh, I feel like you're hoping that if that happens, that you'll be able to make a good, good decision and not be, like, reactive to it. Okay, yeah, it kind of stresses you out, though. Yeah, definitely. Like you fear you're going to have so much anxiety or stress, not be able to sleep in regards to um, this relationship, you know. Um, let me see what the outcome is. I'm just going to do a video of me just shuffling cards for like a straight hour. I think that's the goal. Okay, so we did get the Ace of Wands popped up and that just popped out real quick and went back in the deck. I feel like that's a peak. Um, Spirit's trying to let you know, like be hopeful growth new beginning definitely can happen in your love life for sure um seeds have been planted there's a potential for growth but you know that's if you i mean it's either potential for growth if you want it with this person where they come back and and they make that necessary transition that they're pro, pro, you know processing facing their fears i feel like whoever this person was ran into the arms of somebody else who might have been married or had somebody else and that kind of just blew up didn't work out um and you've been intuiting something here um they must have got caught or something happened or one left the other okay um Either way, there's definitely a new beginning or growth happening for you here in your life. Like the outcome, like you're definitely like um, getting stronger, you know, you've planted the seeds. So you're going to start seeing um, some some buds <laughs> or so <laughs> your pot plant's going to start sprouting some some buds soon or, you know, the whatever you've planted, you're going to start seeing some growth in regards to that. Let me see. Let me see what else is their outcome for Virgo. Regards, I want to know in like regards to this, okay. Let me see, in regards to this situation. These cards. All right, there's movement. There's definitely going to be some straightforward, fast talking, fast action communication coming so that there can be the start of some um, something new. I feel like this, this, I, it does feel like somebody here, this person, 
Um, somebody wants to talk to you. There's going to be some communication. Somebody wants to talk to you. Yeah, definitely want to talk to you. But I also feel like there's going to be a single person, a single, single, no dating, someone who's not connecting with anyone that's going to want to talk to you. Um, they're coming in to talk to you really fast. Okay, it could be another Virgo. Oh, okay. So conversation, um, basically why I denied your love. Okay. Um, Virgo might not be, <laughs> some of you might be like, I don't even care anymore. Just, you know, uh, it's over for me. Uh, it's dead in the water, right? You do what you got to do, right? You want to run into mess around like that? That's like your karma. That's your problem. Adios, Emetha. But others of you um, definitely will have this person coming in, um, somebody coming in. I don't know if it's, you know, I don't know if it's a significant other to you or it's somebody else connected to them coming in to tell you that something is over. It's almost like you're going to actually get the truth. Okay, I, do, I did feel like you're going to what you learn and find out. Um, it's what you find out will give you peace of mind, but somebody will actually then come and um, it's like um, verbalize it to you where, where, you know what I mean? Like where you'll be like, oh, I already know. I've already found out. Okay, so yeah, I mean, there's hope on the horizon here, Virgo, for something going forward for you with another person if that's something that you want as i always say in my readings yep two of wands again yeah there's definitely hope okay and uh there will be a decision that will get made okay bottom of the deck is a page of swords so there's there's information though like going through this process through the rest of the month into february um i feel like you're gonna find a lot of stuff out um you've been doing some spying or creeping or peeking around but you don't have like the full um and this is i know not all of you but you don't have the full but your intuition is kind of matching up with some of the stuff you've been seeing um i don't feel like you're going just on your hunches you don't have all the evidence i feel like you're still curious about stuff but um, yeah, something, yeah, you've been looking to see if someone's been deceptive, okay, you've been looking on your computer, you've been looking on your phone, you've been reading your emails, you've been looking at, um, just, you see how the Queen of Pentacles is like looking down at something, like almost, I don't know, your laptop or doing something, trying to get some information, find something out, um, if, if there's deception. I feel like that with what you're finding out about some kind of betrayal is lining up with what your intuition is telling you um but you're not jumping on anything but i do feel like you're going to learn some things and find out that um somebody here was they got themselves and it's just karma it's basically like somebody they they like had a reactive kind of energy they got involved with someone that they shouldn't have someone got they, there was a, a finding out or there's like there's a lot of backlash could be going online right now somebody's like either posting things or saying things and there's this like oh okay well you know something happened somebody got somebody got some karma you know karma never forgets an address so something along those lines definitely occurring all right i'm gonna leave that rating there um because right now i'm recording this and it is on saturday and i'm getting ready to go watch the eagles game so i'll be a little busy so um yeah i'm gonna upload this a little earlier though all right you guys so hope you have a fantastic sunday and i will see you all back here tomorrow all right take care